The UN Security Council extended for six months the mechanism for delivering vital international assistance to millions of Syrians across borders. The UN Secretary General described the humanitarian operations as vital for more than four million people in northwest Syria. Russia supported the resolution but said the decision was difficult and didn't mean there's a change in their approach to humanitarian assistance in Syria. Our delegation made the difficult decision to support the adoption of a resolution. Renewing this, however, should not be perceived as a change of our principled position on the Syrian cross-border humanitarian mechanism. Needless to say, this resolution does not meet the aspirations of the Syrian people, who expect the Security Council not only to take effective humanitarian efforts, but also to respect the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Syria, and do so not just in words, but in deeds. Meanwhile, U.S. Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield said although aid continues, much more can be done. A 12-month extension is needed for the U.N., and it is needed for our humanitarian partners and for recipients. So while it is important that this council came together today, let's be honest with ourselves. This resolution represents the bare minimum. In a joint statement last week, the heads of UN organizations, including WHO, UNHCR and WFP, confirmed that the majority of the region's population is, I quote, women and children who need assistance to survive during the peak of winter and amid a cholera outbreak. Human rights activists and the humanitarian aid officials continue to demand a more permanent system enabling aid to reach those in need, as 90% of the Syrian population lives below the poverty line. The only remaining artery for Syrians in the north is the opening of Bab al Hawa border crossing with Turkey. But a six-month extension is not enough and regarded alarming.